This is an overview of the Lord Icon animated icons for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started with Lord Icon animated icons, all you're going to need to do is jump inside of Unlimited Elements widgets part navigate to the creative widgets area and hover over Lord icon widget. Once you hover over it, you can just click install and it will install it to your Elementor website. The next thing you want to do is add a page to your website and drag and drop that widget to the page. After adding a new page to your website, now you can search in the widgets pane for the Lord icon animated icons widget. Drag that widget to your page and over here you will see an animated icon. There are two methods to use these type of icons and I'm going to take you through the steps and show you each method. The first me method is pasting a Lord icon URL. To find a URL of a different icon, you can just click over here on the link and it will take you to the Lord icon website. In the Lord Icon website, click on Icons. This will take you to the Icon Library. Over here, you can search for different types of icons. For example, I really like this confetti icon. Of course, you can search for different icons using the search. You can filter only the free icons since Lord Icon has free icons and premium icons. If you want to upgrade to premium, you can jump into pricing. It doesn't cost too much and you will get access to another 1,400 icons. They're updating this consistently, so it's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm going to use a free icon right now, so let's filter for free. Click on the icon that I want, and over here, I'm just going to click Download. Inside of the Download pop-up, I'm going to click Embed HTML, since the method I'm using is a CDN link, and we don't need to copy all of this. All we need to copy is the source tag and only the link inside of the source tag. So over here, I'm just going to copy the source tag only, right click, copy, go back to my website, and over here where it says paste CDN, I'm going to replace the current link to the link that I've just copied, and look how awesome that is. There we go. Now I'm going to take you over the second method. The second method, instead of pasting a Lord icon URL, we're going to use a JSON file. So let's change the method. Down here now, instead of having the ability to paste the link, we can upload a file. So let's jump back into Lord icon. I'm going to close this. Let's choose a different icon this time. For example, maybe this heart icon, and I'm going to click download. And over here, it says JSON Lottie file. So click to download. That will download it to your desktop or wherever you want on your computer. Click save. Go back. And to replace the file, I'm going to click the icon over here, the upload icon. I'm going to enable the option to upload JSON files. Click upload files, select. Over here, I see my JSON file. Let's open that inside. It's uploaded to the website and I'm going to click insert. And over here, we can see the new icon that we've just added. Now I'm going to take you over a couple of more settings that you might want to get to know. The next setting is for animation trigger. This is when the animation occurs. So the default is loop and it's always animating, it's always on. But we can change that to click, for example, and right now it won't be always on. Only once someone clicks on our widget or any other target, which we will discuss later on. Over here, we have an option also to change this to hover. So right now it's happening only when you hover on the trigger or on the target, on the widget. So you can play around with the different settings. For example, loop on hover will loop the animation once you hover over the target. Right now the target is set to on widget. Let's see what kind of targets we have over here. So for example, if you don't want 
the loop to occur when hovering over the whole widget, but just on the icon, you can change it from on widget to on icon. There are also all sorts of targets, for example, on the column, on the section, or a custom target. To apply a custom target, you can put over here any class name from your website and just paste that inside. Make sure the class is a parent of uh, the current widget. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it means this is too advanced for you. So just stay with on widget or on icon, the simple ones. We can also add a link to our icon over here. So right now it's enabled. We can dis disable it and, and play around with that. Over here in the content side, we can decide to show the title or hide the title. So that's with the title off. Let's see the text on and off and you can edit these. Jumping into style. Over here in style, we can change the size of our icon. Each icon has two colors. As you can see, color one and color two. If you want it to be the same color, just choose the same two colors inside of color one and color two. The stroke is actually the thickness of the line. So for example, I'll change that from 20 to 40. And you can see that it's a bit bolder right now. We can add a background. So let's add a really light gray over here. And we can change the shape type. So right now we're using a radius shape. So we can add some radius to our background of the icon. If you want, you can change the shape type to a clip path. And over here you have all sorts of options. For example, hexagon is going to make a hexagon shape. We can also add some padding to our icon over here. So that will push the icon to be inside of the background. And let's turn this back into radius. And we can also add a border to our icon. The next part is adding some shadow. So we can add a shadow over here and we can add some margin. Margin could be good if we want this to offset from the, our box. So I'll just turn off the link over here and I'm going to give, um, let's give the top a negative value. So over here, if we give the top a negative value, you can see that we have a pretty awesome offset effect. If you want to add a pulse effect, you can just turn that on. And there you go, we have a pulse effect. Let's jump into the box settings. So over here, it's all the simple stuff. We can align our uh, content inside differently we can add some padding box shadow if we want to and uh, of course all the border settings radius settings if we want to make the corners rounded and that's about it so i think i went over all the important settings of course you have typography and box hover if you want to change the colors just when you're hovering over the box but that was a quick explanation of how you use the lord icon animated icons for Elementor. See you next time.